Hello, my name is Rhonda Welch. Welcome to my home. I'm here to share with you a new product in the U.S., relatively new. It's been here since 2008. It is a cleaning cloth that you use just water to clean with. So you can find more information about this cloth and my business at www.withjustwater.com. Microfiber is taking the width of a human hair, let's say, 60 times they split that hair. Well, Norwex took that same fiber and they split it 200 times the width of a human hair. So that gives you lots and lots of little fingers to then clean mechanically the, the surface that you wipe with the cloth. And I'll show you what I mean about mechanically cleaning here in a minute as I get on with explaining about this cloth. This is the equivalent of 7, 1,800 miles worth of fiber in this cloth that they have split those hairs 200 times. So that would be the, like going from the Gulf of Mexico to Canada in this nice little fiber cloth. And then and another thing that they did to this cloth is that they took micro silver, collodial silver, and they poured it into vats with the fibers that they split and that adhered to those fibers. It won't leach out, it won't get on your hands, it won't stay behind on your surface. It is a part of the cloth. Then they wove it into this little nice little fiber cloth. And mechanically clean, what I mean by that is that you fold and then you fold again so that you come into full contact with your surface as you wipe. And now I will get my wet cloth and we'll go over and clean just a few little items so that you can see how well it does. Now if you notice my cooktop here is a glass cooktop. We offer solutions for this cooktop instead of your normal razor blade and paste and paper towels. We can use one cloth with the assistance of some paste for those burned on areas that you can see here. Now we're going to clean our cooktop with our paste. And this paste is smells nice, it's a environmentally friendly and it just gives you that extra little edge that you need to get those harder spots cleaned up than your Enviro cloth can get and with a little spirit sponge. This is ground marble, so you don't want to use this on a marble surface or a stone countertop. But for your glass cooktops, it's fabulous. Cleans right up. And then I'll tape my Enviro cloth and wipe. And if I've missed something, I'll go back and get it with my little spirit sponge. much better than 10 paper towels and a razor blade. <laughs> so then we'll take our polishing cloth, which is the same concept as the Enviro towel, has the 1700, 1800 miles in it, has the split fibers, has the silver embedded in the cloth. Now one of the things I didn't mention to you is the reason for the silver in the cloth is to smother bacteria and I'll explain that later when I do the egg demo. Right now I'm just polishing. This is our polishing cloth so see how shiny it creates the surface of your cooktop. And now it's back to beautiful. Then we'll go over and do our demo for our egg test. But remember for your cooktop you just need a sponge set, your cleaning paste, and a Burt and an Ernie, which is what we call them to help us remember Burt does all the work, Ernie comes in and takes the glory and shines everything up, but actually this is an Enviro cloth and this is a polishing cloth. Okay, this is the part of the demonstration that I want to share with you that won me over, that made me realize this is really true, it really works because, I'm sorry, I'm from Missouri and you have to show me, the show me state. And I was like, there's no way that you can clean with just water because I've been cleaning with chemicals for years 
and that's what we're conditioned to do. But I'm going to show you that this actually works. So I have an egg here. You can do this with chicken. You can do this same test with red meat, any blood on the counter. And I can show you the same demo, which is for convenience sake, I have an egg today. And then this is a restaurant quality swab that your health department will go in and tell a restaurant that they can have their doors open or they need to close down their establishment because they're not clean. And we appreciate that because we want to go and clean, eat in clean environments and not have horrible sicknesses because that restaurant's not clean. So this is a restaurant quality health department swab. So I'm going to crack this egg on the counter and make sure you see that it's nice and disgusting. I don't know about you, but I've dropped an egg outside of the refrigerator door and it has taken at least four paper towels to clean it up, if not more. This cloth will hold seven times its weight in liquid in water or whatever liquid you spill. The same thing will happen with this egg. I can clean the entire thing up. I'm going to just sit this egg in the sink and use it on the other side of this demonstration as well. But I'm going to clean up the mess right now. Get most of that egg off there and then sit that right down in here. And then you rinse off your cloth with just hot water, rubbing it against yourself to get the egg and slime off. You'll notice I'm not going to use any soap. We do not use soap with our cloths, just water. Hence the reason my business uh, website is called Get Just Water. And that's with just water on an Enviro cloth from Norway. Now I like to take that, fold it in half, wring out my water, and then for my mechanically cleaning, I'm going to fold my cloth in half one way and again the other way. So I have four sides here to clean, and then I can invert it and fold it all the opposite way and have eight sides to clean. So if you'll remember, this is where my egg was. You can kind of see where it was. I'm going to just clean. and with this cloth here, mechanically clean. Notice that I use a figure eight motion. I want to come in full contact with the surface. Now most of you, if you were gonna then bake your pie here, or your cookies, not bake your pie, but make your pie crust, and your cookie dough here, you would have cleaned it with something else. I will show you that I would confidently lay down my dough right there after this test. This is that swab. I'm going to run it around and try to dig up and scrape up and see if there's anything in here. Now this, if it turns immediately green after I put the liquid in there for the testing part, then, and here's your gauges that tells you, yes, you can be open for business, no, close the doors. So we're going to crack this, and I don't know if you can see that really well but I'll hold it up against my purple shirt here and you should be able to see that that is green immediately, okay? I clean this surface with just water and a microfiber Norwex Enviro towel cloth. <laughs> okay, so now, so that you can see that this is not a Cadbury egg and this is a true swab, not a dummy swab, <laughs> other than the fact that it came apart on me, all right? And we're going to stick it in the egg that you saw me put into the sink a few minutes ago. And we're going to make sure we got some egg on there. And then we're going to put it in here and start shaking. And in a few minutes or less, it will begin to turn purple. It's started to gray already. And it will take long for that surface. Now you can see that it is definitely no longer green. and it will just get darker and darker as time elapses to show you that that was truly a, an, an egg that had protein in it. Now protein is what gets left on the surface that then the bacteria can grow from. 
So we want to clean our surfaces of all bacteria. And if you are in doubt of it cleaning actually the bacteria after the wiping up of the bacteria, uh, the protein, you can go to Google and or YouTube, either one, and type in Andy, A-N-D-Y, a man's name, Andy, will it work? And you can pull up a test that they compared Norwex with a commercial cleaner and your common everyday household microfiber that you can get at a department store. And Norwex came out on top and they actually cleaned something that we all are not wanting to get, which would be E. coli. So you can go there and view that. But just in the time that we've been talking, this cloth, this is completely purple, and I can't show you next to my shirt because my shirt's purple, so there you go. How about that? This is what made me a believer. I am really cleaning my home with just water and a cloth. I'm going to clean my window. As you can see, this side I had already previously cleaned to show you the difference. I don't know if you can see it real well with the lighting. And then over here I have my splatters that are still left from cooking bacon and that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean a window with your EnviroCloth and how I can leave a streak-free window with my polishing cloth. You wouldn't do this with blue stuff. grease on my window seal so I'm going to turn this cloth and keep right on going. And then I'm going to turn it and have four more sides that I can work with. Normally on a mirror and I'll show you a mirror mirror in another video you wouldn't need to turn your cloth that many times, but I've got this nice greasy mirror window from cooking. All right, and then I'm gonna take my polishing cloth and leave a streak-free window. And notice I'm not worrying about going certain directions. I'm not worried about that because it will leave, a, no matter if I go in circles or what I do. And then I'll pull the rest of this in off the seal here and pull my window forward and clean the other side. We do not use chemicals, no bleach, no fabric softener when you're washing them. It's important that you don't use anything but water with these cloths. And then I'm going to... Remember, we're calling this Bert Viro Cloth. And we're going to come along with our Ernie, our polishing cloth, and get our streak three free shine. And then I'm going to, well, I'm, I have this open. I can pull my screen in and show you how to clean that with a bathroom scrub net. Simply get it wet and then how is that for easy cleaning?
And I'll do one half so you can see the difference. And then if you have something that's sticking a little more, you can use the scratch rough side. I know all of us love to clean screens. As you can tell, I really love it. <laughs> as dirty as this is, like, Rhonda must not clean her screens very often. <laughs> and I don't. I don't know if you can see a good shot of the difference on that or not. But this side has been wiped with this and this will rinse right out and what doesn't rinse out I will launder out with our fabulous Ultra Power Plus laundry soap. This is our little sample bag that I give to all my hostesses who say I want a party. You sign up this is yours free to, help to host an in-home show. We sell a two pound bag that you can get 500 plus washes. If you have an HE washer, you only use a half a teaspoon on a full load. It's all I launder my clothes with and my Norwex. It's important not to wash your Norwex with lint bearing products like towels because of the pulling strength of the cloth. Those fibers that I was telling you about earlier, the 200 split fibers, they grab dirt and they hold on to it and they don't release it until they're washed in hot water or you can sometimes boil them on top of the stove if you need to for a little extra deep cleaning. But this is the best laundry soap ever. Your wipes will never have been whiter. So give it a try. And you can find that in my catalog as well. So I'll go over to the sink and we'll rinse this out real quick. Now we're gonna clean this bathroom scrub mitt that normally is used for your showers to clean soap scum off the wall of your shower and clean your soap scum off your door of your shower. This thing is awesome for your bathtubs. You will clean your bathroom with just water and that will be coming in a, another video that I'll be doing that is focusing on the bathroom. But I wanted you to see how great it can clean the window screen. And I'm just rinsing it with hot water. And I won't get all of the dirt out. Again, that was with my Ultra Power Plus. I will be able to launder it and have a white pink, <laughs> a pink cloth again. But what I'm doing here is cleaning it out enough that if I wanted to go on to another screen, I've cleaned the bulk of my dirt out and I'll be able to go on and collect more dirt. So that's the thing about your Norwex. You don't worry about it coming brand new spanking clean. You just get the bulk of your dirt out. You use it for a week and then we recommend laundering at least once a week. But no more than that because of the silver in our cloths, you hang them. That's why they have tags so that you can hang them up. Oh, sorry so that you can hang them up and then the silver goes to work and smothers all of the bacteria or the protein or whatever you've picked up you rinse out your cloth and you hang it and in a 24 hour period everything you've picked up will then be smothered and you're ready to go the next day and clean some more. Now I want to share with you our oven and grill cleaner. This is an enzyme which is actually a good bacteria that its job is to clean your oven and it eats carbon. So I have preheated this oven to about a 100 degree temperature. You don't want it any hotter than that. And one way to tell if your oven is too warm is when you spray, it'll begin to steam, which means you're killing the enzymes. And instead, we just want to wake them up. So I'm going to spray the bottom of my oven. And I've already cleaned that side, but I'm going to go ahead and do this side so you can see the difference. Hopefully you had a chance to see how dirty this was, the dark in here, and notice that I can touch this. There is nothing in here that will harm me. It is non-toxic. For those of you who do not know, in the fine print on your oven 
book, it will tell you that if you're going to use the self cleaner to open all the windows in your home and remove small pets from the home and that you shouldn't even be there because what's happening is that when that oven gets up over the 500 degree temperature you are burning carbon and then that is in the air and you're breathing it and it can be toxic to small pets so it's not going to be good for us to breathe either and in this bottle of oven and grow cleaner you have as you can see I've only sprayed on a minimal amount which I'm going to leave that sit for about five minutes that's how long it takes for that to go to work and do its job I have multiple cleanings in this bottle if I have a spill I don't have to wait I can spray it and I can clean my mess right up instead of having to wait because I dread cleaning the oven now with this it's a breeze we'll be back in about five minutes now while we wait for the oven to go ahead and the enzymes to go to work and clean it I am going to show you cleaning your sink now normally you just need BERT remember we clean all the toxins or the bacteria or the protein off the surface with just our EnviroCloth and this is from our egg test earlier if you remember and how dark purple this has gotten so I will clean the bulk of my sink with just my BERT my EnviroCloth and then I have this sink that is made of this plastic material that I have a hard time cleaning normally with a stainless steel all you just clean with this cleaning paste and it will polish it up any stainless steel if you have stainless steel refrigerator or appliances of any it, your oven your cooktop your uh, little toaster oven whatever you have stainless steel this and your BERT and that polishing cloth will make it look beautiful now because I have the little problem in here with my dark stains if you can see that uh, without my shadow there there's some darkness here I've done half of this earlier so you can see the contrast before I actually clean it in front of you this is a micro cleaning hand pad that I'll use to take those stains out of the bottom of my sink this works well for those uh, porcelain sinks that get this pot marks in it this will take those out so then I'm just going to rub this in here and as you can see it's already beginning to take it out amazing little block of cleaning a micro cleaning hand pad any other marks you can see no all right so then I'm going to just go ahead and wipe down with my BERT and my sink is sanitized and ready to go and that's all it is Norwex has all your cleaning needs go to www.withjustwater dot com to learn more now we're back here at our oven we've let the enzymes sit for about five minutes I have my stainless steel spirinet that I'll use to scrub the bottom and you want to have plenty of water while you're doing this to give it some lubrication so then this is a 100 percent stainless steel scrubber that will not rust And most of the shows that I go to where I do this little demo, the one place that everyone says I can never get that clean is the oven door. This enzyme is wonderful for cleaning your oven door. All those little dark spots that you get on the corners will come right up. Little brown spots. in here as long as I want to make sure this is not too hot to touch I don't know if you can see that just came right up all that brown back there 
try to switch on so you'll be able to see me instead of having to look around me. Now, if you've noticed, all this cleaning that I'm doing is not taking hours, just minutes. I'm going to take my Enviro towel and wipe the bottom. I didn't go all the way to the back. I wanted you to be able to see the contrast between the front and the back. And now I'll clean the, wipe the oven door down. Get all the residue off of there, the, the enzyme off of the oven door. But having to learn new words to use instead of the ones that we're used to hearing, you know, I'm, I'm not chemically cleaning, so I'm mechanically cleaning with just water and a cloth. And then here's your polisher if you want your oven door to shine. When you fold your polishing cloth, there's one additional fold because it's a little larger and it makes it palm size so then you can shine up your oven door and that's how easy it is to clean your oven no sweat no hours just minutes okay we've moved to the living area now so that i can share with you about the superior mop system this is an awesome mopping system. It's for both dry mopping and wet mopping. It works well on wood floors, which is what I'm going to show you here today, and tile and any uh, hard surface that you normally mop in your kitchen. You will love this superior mop system. It's the same concept as our Enviro cloth and the polishing cloth. The fibers have been split the 200 times, so it has a lot of pull. The wet pad has the silver in it so that you can clean and sanitize your wet mop by hanging it and letting the silver do its job. So first thing we want to do is adjust the height to the right size for the person using the mop. About chin level is where you want to be. So you step on the base with your toes and then lefty loosey and then bring that right up to the chin and righty tighty okay, got it there we go we have a locking system on this so that you can do high up as well as mop your floor you can do your walls cobwebs i'll show you here in a few minutes but for mopping you want to make sure that this locking tab is in the upright position and then you want to use a figure eight motion while mopping so that keeps your dust or any particles that you've picked up in front of your mop. Now this mop fits well underneath of your sofa. It will go underneath of refrigerators, ovens, you name it. It's awesome. You just need to Sweep around in a figure eight motion. Now, the need for a dust pan will be very minimal, if at all, because most of your dust is now collected onto the microfiber because it has that pulling power. So what it picks up, it draws into the cloth and holds on to. And the way that we will get rid of that is we have a brush, let, let me get that. This rubber brush here, it's fabulous. And the trash can. And you'll just want to rub your dust off into your trash can. This rubber brush is fabulous for taking hair off of stairs, out of carpet, off of your furniture if you have pets that shed. It's great for cleaning the arms and the seats of your sofa. And notice that I turned this cloth both directions so that I could make sure that I peeled 
everything out. So now my cloth is ready to go for the rest of my sweeping area. And then everything is on a Velcro so that it, I can interchange my pads. And now I'm going to get the wet pad, which I previously ran under warm water in the sink. So that's ready to go. And I just rolled it up. Let me show you that real quick. Just roll it up like this after you've gotten it wet and squeeze the wa excess water out. You don't need a lot of water to mop with. If you noticed, our pads are offset. They're longer than the base. And I showed you why, so that you can get underneath of things. And it also will flip up so that as you're mopping where there's baseboards, you can run this along the side of the baseboard and mop your baseboard at the same time you're mopping the floor or sweeping. Now when I mop, I like to go to the farthest point away from me and mop towards myself so that I am not walking in my water or my wet floor. We use very little water. It has the same pulling power. You're going to be pulling the dirt into the cloth. You have an area that you feel like it needs a little extra umph. Just put your foot down and push it and get that extra little scrubbing power. To get that spot. And this will be dry in very little time. You don't have to wait 10 minutes for your floor to dry. Let's see if there's... There, I got it. Kind of leave the back here dry so you can see any difference. And sure button underneath of my sofa and that's it and this area over here has already begun to dry if you can notice that and I've just gone from that side to here and my floor is ready to walk on and then the bottom of my base my wet pad you can see has picked up nice little amount of dirt and I'll just take this to the sink run it under hot water and as I'm running it under the hot water I'll brush with this and pull that excess dirt out and finish mopping the rest of my floor and then rinse it out for a final time and hang it so that I can use it again in the next couple of days we recommend you wash Nor Norwex microfiber at least once a week with our Ultra Power Plus laundry soap That's it for your mop system. Now I'm going to share with you how to easily mop in high, hard to reach areas with our new Enviro wand. It has this nice side with all these fluffy fingery things. And then we also have a flat smooth side. So it just depends on the job you have to accomplish. And then if your job is up high, you simply take your handle off and take the base of your mop off and then we'll attach that in here and remember your mop handle can adjust so it depends on how high your job is if it's not too high then you can simply leave it on its shortest setting and you can reach up and clean your air returns then if you have a nice job up higher here let's take a look at this all this dust I got out of my cold air return you can see the dust here and 
And now I'll just extend Lucky Lucy, righty tidy. And I have not dusted up here in a little while. To easily take and not have flying dust bunnies through the air. And you can see that it is sticking to my Enviro wand and not flying around my house to settle somewhere else for me to then have to go and dust that area. It's all right here on my Enviro wand. Now this Enviro wand can bend. Let me clean it out for you and it can give you this shape and the dimensions you can then use to clean a ceiling fan easily. And this just recharges it. The rubber brush is fantastic for recharging the fibers so then they create a static electricity pull so then you're ready to pull some more dust out of the air. But you can fold this this way or you can turn it this way. It's just one of those preferences. Which side do you like to use? And what job are you trying to accomplish? And then you can clean your ceiling fans. Okay, now I'm going to reach up and get that ceiling fan that I would normally have to have my husband come in and get on a ladder to clean uh, because of my mop handle and my Enviro wand, I will be able to reach up and clean my own ceiling fans. Now I want to share with you our dusting mitt and how easy it is to dust your figurines or any of those other little knickknacks you might have around your house. This one I found has not been dusted for quite some time so I will show you how easy it is. Notice there are not any dust bunnies flying through the air and I will clean off all of her hard to reach areas that normally you would not be able to reach. With. And then I will show you all the dust bunnies that we were able to capture from our figurine without having them wisping through the air and breathing them all in. So, How easy it is to dust this the two ways that we can clean the inside of the toilet. And remember that you are actually getting 99.9% .9 of all of the material that's left behind, the bacteria, anything that you don't want to be left behind is being picked up by this cloth. This toilet hasn't been cleaned for a while. 
So it's the real deal. I have four boys in this house, so you're seeing exactly what I deal with on a weekly basis. So sorry if that offends you. I hope not. I'll rinse this out really quick. Put it on my water. As long as I can stand. Squeeze that all out and give it another once over. recommend that you do at least once a month a bucket flush which is where you empty the water completely out of their toilet with a pitcher of water once you get most of your toilet with your cleaning product here we have two of our systems for cleaning your toilet. We have the Blue Diamond, which is great in the bathroom, getting hard water spots or hard water buildup off of things. And then this is our ergonomic toilet bowl brush. Has the lift here for getting up underneath your ram and then the rubber bristles for cleaning the rest of the toilet. This will not lose its shape and rust, and you'll be very happy with this. Then the other product we have is the Sanry system, which also is using enzymes to clean with, just like our blue diamond here. This system actually has a hole in the center, and then we have this black with your cleaning solution. There's enough solution in here to clean one bathroom for two years or two bathrooms for one year. And you simply push down on the brush and load the chemical, load the enzymes right here up through the center of the brush and so everything is in here ready to clean. And then you would simply clean your toilet like normal. And all of our solutions are environmentally friendly. They're non-toxic. You can touch them with your hands. They're not going to hurt you. And they are, most of them are enzymes, which are good bacteria that you're putting in to eat the bad bacteria. So your enzyme is doing your work. It's working for you. So there you go. How simple it is to clean your toilet. And then the next thing you do is that you want to flush. <laughs> Rinse your brush, close the lid and let it drip dry while you do the rest of your brush for cleaning. Now, I'm going to remove everything off of the counter so that I can share with you how to clean with your Enviro cloth. Now this is the one I was using in the kitchen. I've rinsed it out, and it's ready to keep on working. I like to start with the mirror, and as you can see, we have some nice splatters here from boys washing their hands. But just for added fun, 
I thought I'd put a little butter on here and show you how well the Enviro cloth will get that up. You know, if someone sneezed on the mirror, you gotta come and clean it up. So let's get some warm water. Squeeze the excess out of your cloth. You want to be by root. You want to mechanically clean, so you're going to have your folds here, and then you're just going to wash your mirror with the wet enviro cloth, and not drag butter all over your mirror. It's all been pulled into the cloth. That I want to keep right on going, so I'm going to clean. The sink top. So you leave the dirtiest part for last behind the sink. Faucet. I kind of like to let my cloth become unfolded so my hands can get down in there with that. All right, I'm going to refold. Now I'm hoping I didn't let my mirror dry too much because I like to let it dry just a little bit. But I may end up having to wet it again. see. Now I don't use any chemicals to clean my sink, just your Norwex. Yeah, I, I let it get a little too dry because I had, this is more than how wet my cloth should have been. Normally that's what I do. I have my cloth a little bit wetter and then I do my cleaning of my sink. If you have a little extra something in the bottom of your sink that's having a hard time coming up, just get a little of our cleaning paste. Don't need much. And then just give that an extra little scrap. You know, sometimes there's soap scum that builds up on the side. And that cleaning paste will just give you that extra little edge you need to get that soap scum off. Now we're ready for our mirror. And notice I am not worried about what direction I am drying or polishing. This circle is back and forth, doesn't really matter. I'm going to have a streak free, streak free mirror. And then you can do a polish on your fixture. And that's how easy it is to clean your bathroom. Here are a couple tools that you need for the shower. 
We have our bathroom scrubnet that has a scrubby side and then the fluffy side for taking excess water off. And for those harder to remove soap scum, you just use a little bit of this cleaning paste and it'll take it right off. And of course, if you want to polish your glass up and make it shine and be clear, you'll need this. So right now I'm just going to do a quick run over my glass. Take soap scum right off in your shower doors, your shower walls. It's really simple to clean. Not a lot of effort. Do this once a week and cleaning your shower is extremely easy. And then that shower door that has the water spots. I'm leaving one door not done so you can see the water spots at the bottom. And I have some blue diamond I put in here and some rust spots to take those up. We usually let that sit about five minutes. I'll take that orange right up. And that looks like it's built up underneath. So. And that was very easy to take off. Right there, all that orange. Thank you for watching this virtual Norwax presentation. Go to www.withjustwater.com for additional information, for shopping pages, for before and after shots, for how to care for your Norwex. You may also contact my daughter-in-law, Kathy Welch, or myself via that web blog. Thank you, have a great day and enjoy your Norwex.